Shabbos, I shared a story of Rabbi Mendel Futerfas, who was a Mashpia in the Chabad Yeshiva in Israel. And when he was younger, he was in Siberia in the Gulag. And a fascinating story happened. The inmates were able to smuggle in a deck of cards. And you were forbidden from owning a deck of cards in the camp. But these inmates, after a long day of labor, were able to get together and play poker. They weren't able to keep it a secret for too long. And before they knew it, the guards found out about it and came to search the premises. They looked everywhere. They couldn't find the cards. And the guards came in again and again and again. It's fascinating. And with Mendel Futerfas is thinking to himself, where are those cards hidden? And they would hear them playing with the cards and five, six guards would come in. They would strip them down. They would look beneath the beds, beneath the stones, and they couldn't find the cards. But Mendel was so curious to find out where were they hiding the deck of cards. And one of the inmates who was close with him told him, well, you know what? We're all pickpocketers. And as soon as the guards come in to search, we hide the cards in the guards' pocket. For some reason, they look everywhere besides for their own pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, Morai Verbotai, we're approaching Yamim Noraim. We need to search our own pockets. We need to search our own pockets. For some reason, we don't look into our own pockets. For some reason, we look at other people's pockets. It is easier to speak about the state of the world than about the state of the individual. It's easier to speak about anti-Semitism than to speak about assimilation. It's easier to speak about humanity and avoid speaking about being a human being. We need to search our own pockets one pocket of Ben Adam Lamakom and the second pocket, Ben Adam Lechaberu. What are we doing right? And more importantly, what are we doing wrong? How do we improve? What do we change? Shana Tovah.